Hello, I'm Susan. I specialise in the Majolica method of decorating ceramics and I'm going to make a set of videos that go through the whole subject. And this is my first on how to prepare the glaze base. On this side we keep what we need to work with. Bars of wood, bowls for throwing the base and the three boxes of different colours to keep the dirty glaze of the three different ones we use. On the top shelf are all the special ones we made for private orders. The middle shelf has all the colours the way they are brought in the form of powder and the bottom one has the colours we use, prepared to work with. This wall is in three sections and the next photos will show each section separately. This is the centre wall. At the bottom are three containers. Each one is a different colour and holds a different base which are prepared to use and they have separate lids that form a table. There are 12 dismountable shelves where the work that has been prepared is left to dry. We decorate tiles, plates, pots and lids. Above is a false ceiling with a light and the entrance to a ventilator. Bars of wood, basins and buckets and there is a tube which connects the ventilator to the patio. These are the six articles you need to prepare the glaze. The glaze. A bucket a sieve, two bars of wood, a mask and a pair of plastic gloves. When preparing the glaze always wear a mask and gloves. When you see the glaze being mixed with water you will understand why. Tip the glaze into a bucket that is half full of water. Now you can see why a mask is needed. Stir it. Add more glaze and continue until the bucket is full. It should be left with a thickish texture. Stir it. Pick up the bucket and tip it into the sieve. Tip the glaze into the sieve. Turn the handle so it goes down into the container. The sieve is one of the best things I have bought. It is dismountable. I got it in London, it was made in New Zealand. Go on doing this until there is enough glaze prepared. There is always a lot of thick glaze left at the bottom of the bucket. Stir it and add more water. If you do not want to add water, with a bowl take out some glaze from the container. Put it into the bucket, stir it and pass it through the sieve. Now there is enough glaze. The way to leave the glaze so it doesn't harden is to mix it and let the circle get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller for about a minute, a minute. This stops the glaze getting hard for a long while but I don't know the reason why it does it. Before leaving it, take off your glove. Dip your hand into the glaze Close your fist and bring it out. You can see that the glaze is very thin. Now you know that before starting to work, water must be taken out. Now the base is prepared. Before leaving it, clean around the edge of the container. Put on the lid and it is finished. To learn or see more about the Majorica method, please enter my web. There you will find a ceramic dictionary in Spanish, English and Catalan with as many illustrations as possible, which are in international language. And you will find the video in the section Glaze Preparing. Thank you very much for listening.